Hey, I'm Jesus, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the discontinued items of CSGO, sponsored by CS Money, the quick, easy and safe skins marketplace, more about them later. Now, this is something fairly obvious that you might not realise, but most items in CSGO are discontinued. So, for example, there are 32 CSGO cases, but only 10 to 12 of them are actively dropping. It's hard to know the exact numbers because there's not that much information about what cases are dropping for non-prime players, but most of the cases aren't active drops. Now, if we're going to be really strict about things, they aren't outright discontinued, but they only drop very, very rarely as appropriately called rare drops. So they're basically unavailable. Similarly, CSGO has 29 other collections of skins, but only eight of them are currently dropping. The rest are discontinued, and in all likelihood, most of these skins are going to remain discontinued forever. Now, this isn't going to be the main focus of this video. If you are interested in seeing some more of these really old, semi-forgotten, discontinued skins, there's a card in the top right-hand corner on the screen you can click on to see a video I've made on those skins, but that's not what I want to focus on. Instead, I want to focus on some much more fundamental changes Valve made to the way they handle CSGO items, particularly ideas they had that, for one reason or another, didn't work out and were dropped as a result. And to begin with, I want to look at stickers. Now, you probably know stickers as these things in the CSGO menu that you ignore every time you play the game, but that isn't the way they were initially envisioned by Valve. In fact, the first three sticker capsules Valve released dropped exactly the same way that cases do. You got them as a random drop for playing the game, and you had to pay for a key to unlock them. Now, Valve stopped doing this in July 2014, and started selling stickers in the in-game menu instead. Now, I'm not sure what the exact reason for this was, but I do have my suspicions. You see, the keys for the sticker capsules were significantly cheaper than the keys for the cases, and I think they are figured that maybe these sticker capsules are undercutting a much more lucrative market, so they dropped them to, to optimise their business and maximise their profits. And that's not the last time we're going to be seeing that either, because after this, they replaced these stickers with the Community Sticker Series, which ran as a bunch of limited time offers in the buy menu. Now, you'd pay a fixed amount to get a specific sticker. Five different series of stickers were produced, including a Halloween special featuring stuff like the War Owl, Sparkles, and the Meme Machine. And once one series was discontinued, another was immediately put out. And this immediately resulted in a whole bunch of discontinued stickers that were hoarded by investors and quickly skyrocketed to ridiculous prices. But after the fifth series, Valve decided to discontinue this entire system and started offering capsules in the menu instead. Now, again, I'm not quite sure what the reasons for this was, but I have my suspicions. You see, I think they figured that offering a capsule where you could gamble in the vain hope of getting a sticker that's worth more than you paid was probably more attractive than just offering a sticker. Now, most of the time with that capsule, you'll end up with a sticker worth 20 cents instead, but, but it's more enticing and, I'm guessing, probably a ton more lucrative. A little bit of gambling always spices up those profits. And with that, it seemed like the sticker series were discontinued forever. But then they have changed their mind and randomly brought back the community sticker series to the in-game menu in November 2016, completely screwing over everyone who invested in them. I bet that one stung some people. Well, except for Valve. They probably made bank. Now, these aren't the only stickers that have seen changes like this. The same goes for the autograph stickers from the CSGO Mages. Now, these days, they're all in capsules that Valve sells for 25 cents a pop during the Major sticker sale, but that wasn't how they started off. So, autographs are added for Cologne 2015's Play Pick'em Challenge. Do you remember what that is? No, but I don't either. I'm guessing it was probably shit. Now, what I do remember is the next major, Dreamhack Collision of Poker's CSGO Fantasy Team Game, which provided another use for autographs. This was another way for viewers to engage in the major and pay Valve money at the same time. Although, in fairness, half of it did go to the players, so I, I guess that's okay. And autographs were sold really differently back then, so ordinary autographs each had their own unique 
team specific capsule and foil autographs had their own special capsule. Now, beginning with the Atlanta 2017 Major, Thou proceeded to change this system. Firstly, they dropped the fantasy team feature for Atlanta, and then at PGL Krakow, they scrapped the original capsules in favor of a single, newer, cheaper capsule that contained all of these stickers plus the super rare gold stickers to bait kids into opening them. So why make this change? Well, I think it's because the old capsules weren't selling very well. I, I think the foil capsules in particular were really poor sellers and by discontinuing them in favor of something new, they were probably hoping they could make more money. A and, and guess what? It worked. That These things have been a huge, huge, massively profitable success. Valve has made bank off these things and some of that money does go to the players as well. So yay, I, I guess. Now, speaking of dropping things that aren't performing very well, Valve once sold Team Graffitis at the Major 2, starting in Atlanta 2017 and ending at London 2018. These things were massively unpopular duds and were discontinued for IEM Katowice 2019. Instead, Valve literally gave the Graffitis out for free to everyone who brought the viewer pass at that Major. But these weren't items and they only lasted as long as that Major did. But what about something that was performing too well for Vow's liking? Is there a chance they could discontinue something like that? Well, let's have a look at the eSports cases. Three of these things were released. The most recent one was discontinued as a drop at the end of 2014. Now, why would these things cut? I mean, a portion of the proceeds from the key used to unlock this will help support CSGO professional tournament prize pools. Sounds great, right? Sounds like a match made in heaven. Why doesn't Valve want CSGO players funding the major prize pools through unboxing special cases? Well, again, we don't really know, but I have a theory. You see, up until MLG Columbus 2016, CSGO majors had a fixed $250,000 prize pool. And in the meantime, Valve was quite literally making many tens of millions of dollars each year from CSGO cases. Now, I don't know if you're seeing the ratio here, but I don't think it's a very good one. The amount of money in the major prize pools is a lot smaller than the amount that's being raked in by Valve through cases. And maybe Valve figured it wasn't a very good idea having cases that support CSGO professional tournament prize pools, when in reality, only a minute fraction of that money was actually going to the prize pool. And I've got a feeling that's why these things were cut. We were literally opening so many of them. <laughs> it just became inconvenient for Valve. And speaking of things that are inconvenient, well, you'll probably remember when Valve essentially discontinued keys as a tradable item. You can still buy them, obviously, but you can't trade them or sell them on the market afterwards. Now, the stated reason for this was that it was to combat money laundering. And in the case of trading, I can imagine keys were being used quite a bit for money laundering. That, that makes sense. But preventing people from selling keys on the Steam market is a bit weird. That's not going to stop people from laundering money. It's got nothing to do with it. So why would Valve do that? Well, probably because the prices of keys were constantly getting screwed with by all sorts of exchange rate bullshit, most of it coming from Turkey and Argentina. Make it impossible to resell the keys and you fix the problem. GG. And that brings me to the final item that's been discontinued, the Palette of Presents. Now, this is literally just a whole bunch of gift packages in a single item. And gift packages are sold every year around Christmas by Valve, and the palette is just nine of them in a bundle. But for some reason, Valve hasn't bought back the palette for five years now. It doesn't really do anything that ordinary gift packages can't do, but it is discontinued. So I felt that I had to include it. Shut up. Anyway. That's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe. Massively appreciated. And a big thank you to CS Money for sponsoring this channel. CS Money is a skins trading site that's quick, easy, and safe. Now, there's multiple ways to buy on the site. First of all, you can deposit your own skins in order to get balance to trade for skins on the site. You can also use one of a whole bunch of different payment methods. The great thing about this site is it's got a huge range of skins. It's got what you want, when you want it. There's tons of stuff here. And it's also got a number of other cool features, including a 3D skin inspect feature and an item wiki. 
Now, these are both free features. You don't need to pay to use them. They're there for you, even if you never use a site. So really great place. I recommend checking it out. Link is in the description. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your gut. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya.